Hello and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Pattaya, Pattaya Channel's very own breakfast show. I'm your host, Nick Pendrell, and joining us today, instead of our regular Daves, we have a glamorous new face with us Aww, in the form you, of Carolyn. Thank you very much. Thank lovely you very to be much here. for joining the show. Thank you. And our guests today are the not so glamorous, but still very interesting and entertaining, I'm sure. It's uh, Earl and Thomas from CEA Projects Racing Team. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Great to have you. So tell us all about the CEA Racing. Well, uh, CEA Racing is uh, a very professional race team that we've set up here in Pattaya. And we race all over Thailand and we also at times race, race outside Thailand. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a team where we have a workshop here in Pattaya mm -hmm. and we have uh, our own mechanics. We bring our own team to the track and our cars to the track. We service them at the track. We have uh, our very uh, popular umbrella girls that comes with us to yes, the track when we, <laughs> when we race. <laughs> and uh, basically, uh, CEA is, is our main sponsor for the race team. Right. Uh, but uh, Earl works very closely with me as the team manager and the team. Very and good. supports the team everywhere where we go, uh, both on and off the track. We've won, uh, over the past uh, 10 years, we've won eight Thailand national championships. Good grief, eight out of 10? Oh. Yeah. That's quite a success uh, rate. The last four years with CEA is the, the main sponsor for our mm -hmm. race team. Uh, we're leading the team championship this year, so we're doing very well. Certainly sounds yeah. it. So what, what kind of cars do you drive then? Well, uh, the main car for the team is, is a Honda CD. Uh, right. It's a 1500cc car, a standard production car, mm -hmm. uh, where we then are allowed to modify certain parts of the engine. Right. But the rest is basically building uh, the car as good as possible, setting it up, getting the best type of suspension on the mm -hmm. car, and then uh, having a good driver. Uh, to yeah, drive the car. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that's that's uh, one of the most important elements. You can have the best car in the world, but for someone who can't drive it properly, it's, it's the whole thing is is like a team team effort. Because mm -hmm. if you if you have a good driver mm -hmm. and you don't have a, a good team of supporting you, yeah. uh, you're just not able to perform as well. Sure. And that's part of the reason actually why CEA is uh, our main sponsor from mm -hmm. from uh, what I've been discussing with Earl. For example, their, their philosophy is that uh, they provide a whole solution to their clients. And yes. many times that, that people ask, why, why do you sponsor a race team? Because mm -hmm. you don't really have anything to do with racing. I think Earl, you can probably explain that a little bit better. But. Yeah, I mean, in a recent interview, we were asked this question before, and I said, you know, when we first approached Thomas, or Thomas approached us about full sponsorship of the team, mm -hmm. which is some four years ago now, yeah. And when we saw Thomas, Thomas was a winner. Uh, a great background team, a great support team. Uh, and again, that's what we think we've got at CEA Project Logistics. Mm -hmm. A great leader, a great winner, and we have a great professional back team. Mm -hmm. So we saw synergies, possibilities from yeah. the start. Yeah, and I guess yeah. with logistics, you get things, places pretty quick, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some more <laughs> yeah. synergy there. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. fastest way to move things around. <laughs> so for somebody who doesn't know a great deal about motor racing, um, so you said yours is a Honda City 1500. Is their maximum CC in the particular category. We, we have uh, we have different race series in Thailand. Right. Uh, we choose to drive one this year, which is called uh, Pro Racing Series, mm -hmm. uh, where we race basically all over Thailand. Right. Uh, and in Pro Racing Pro Racing Series, we have different categories. Right. We are in the class which is uh, the one which is the hottest contested, mm -hmm. called the Pro Car class. Right. Where all cars have to be either 15 or 1600 cc. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they have to be produced in an ASEAN country within the last uh, seven years. Right. Plus, uh, there's restrictions on what you can do to the car. Mm -hmm. If you have a 1600cc car, you theoretically have a more powerful car. Yeah. So then they, are, they put extra weight in the car oh, right. to, to have a balance of performance. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. so how many cars would be in, a, in an average race? How Generally many? around 30 cars. 30? Yeah. Oh, so That's it's a lot more a lot. than Formula yeah. One, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very popular, this class, and mm -hmm. all the best drivers from Thailand, they, they join this class. Nice and how many, how many races in a series are there? In this series, we have four race weekends. Uh, right. Each race weekend has two two races, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so we have eight races in total. Uh, there's other race series in Thailand where we at times get in, invited to. For example, 
there's a new circuit being opened in uh, Buriram, mm -hmm. which is uh, 4th and 5th of October now. Right. And we were contacted a couple of days ago and asked to be uh, part of the support race. Right. Yeah. So Honda, they will arrange what they call a Honda one make race, mm -hmm. where only Honda cars are allowed mm -hmm. and only uh, 13, 14, 1500 cc cars. Right. Right. Uh, so we will do a, a race there mm -hmm. uh, as the first ever race in, in the new FIA circuit in Thailand. Right. Yeah, that's right. very exciting. So, so where, where are the other circuits? Uh, we, we have one circuit uh, in Gangajan, mm -hmm. uh, basically a few kilometers from the national park. Right. Uh, it's a very technical circuit, 2.9 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Then we have a, a circuit in Nakhon Chai Si. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a circuit in Pattaya, uh, okay. Pattaya circuit. Then right. we have one in Bonanza. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the new circuit in Brio. Right, so that, that will add. Mm -hmm. to, so they're five sort of good quality tracks that yeah. now exist in Thailand. In the Buriam one, we just met the circuit manager for Buriam, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Tony Whitaker, at our last race meeting. And he was saying the track itself is actual F1 standard. Really? It's yeah. the actual infrastructure it needs to be built upon. Yeah. So hotels, yeah. roads, all that sort of thing. And when that's done, then it'll be a full grade F1 license. Wow. Wow. That's, uh, so maybe one day. We might see it in maybe, Thailand. maybe. Yeah. I think with Formula One, a lot of money has to change hands as well. It's not just about the infrastructure. Yeah, don't come to me, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you start driving, Thomas? What was your first start? Uh, I started as, uh, uh, when I was 10 years old. Oh, right. uh, my early. father used to be a very successful rally driver. Oh, right. Ah, so it's um, in the genes. So where did you come from, actually? From Denmark. Oh, OK. So I, originally, I was very much into motorbikes and motocross, mm -hmm. and uh, my father, for my 10 years birthday, gave me a, an entry to mm -hmm. a, a, a club where they had these motorbikes. Right. The first day okay. I came there, I was supposed to go test one of these mm -hmm. motorbikes, and they were all busy. <laughs> so they asked, well, why don't you have a go in a go-kart before? Oh, okay. And I said, nah, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> and they said, just try it, it's for mm. free. Yeah. And I did a few laps in it, and I was sold. And really? I, it's been four wheels ever since then. <laughs> wow. So I won the Danish championship in karting before. Wow. Uh, and I've been racing here in Thailand, won several championships in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, obviously in a go-kart, it's a little bit of a, an issue with my big size. Uh, <laughs> yes. But uh, when we get into the cars, it, uh, it's, it's very good. Yeah. So how long have you been in Thailand now? 20 years. 20 years? Wow. wow. That's that's quite a while. And yeah. you've been driving through most of those 20 years? More or less, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, a couple of years in the beginning where we we weren't sponsored and my work didn't allow mm -hmm. me the time to drive. Then I didn't drive, but before then and after then I've been driving. Right. Yeah. So I would say must be around 30. 30 odd years now that wow, I've been racing. That's a long time. So yeah. you must know yeah. what you're doing now. <laughs> there, Let's hope there, so. <laughs> are there other drivers in the in the team? Uh, well, just... we we have uh, other we have other people in the team that we look after. Right. Uh, okay. uh, they have their own sponsors. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for example, uh, there's a driver called Dean Callister. Mm. Uh, very good driver and uh, we share everything, we help each other with everything, right. uh, we go to the races together, share the mechanics. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, what are the nationalities uh, of the most of the drivers? You said there's 30. Um, are most of them foreigners? Or most uh, no, them we're the only foreigners. Oh, they're the only yeah. foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. And you keep winning everything. It's <laughs> yeah. really not very really well. <laughs> <laughs> But you're not very uh, popular. <laughs> So, um, I mean, is, is motorsport in general sort of getting more and more popular in Thailand, would you say, over, over the years? Uh, yeah, it, I mean, the, the level of uh, competition has begun, has gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. I remember the first go-kart race I had here, it was in 1998. Right. Uh, and I basically won the race with almost a lap over everyone else. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> And now it's very, very tough competition. Oh, right. it, there's yeah. no way you can win everything right. uh, because they're all very good. Uh, yeah. And we've, we've had a lot of drivers. I, I've been coaching a young boy since he was four. Mm -hmm. He's now uh, 19, 18 now. Oh, right. And he's leading the Formula 3 European Championship. Good grief. Uh, he stands to, 
if he wins in a couple of weeks, then he yeah. will have won the, that Open Championship. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, so uh -huh. and what's his next step? Is he? Uh, that would be GP2. GP2. He's, uh, right. he's, uh, that's just under Formula One GP2. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know that it's and the sort of starter, the sort of yeah. uh, introduction mm. to. So, uh, uh, I mean, I, I I follow him very closely. I'm because sure. If you trained him, I was him, yeah. his coach for ten years. Mm. Uh, yeah. So. It's very give you a great sense of uh, achievement. Yeah. yeah. So coming back to to Thailand, um, is uh, the you said that this is one of the more more popular series. Is the is there other series for for more powerful cars? Yes. Uh, there are, for example, Thailand Super Series. Mm -hmm. uh, Thailand Super Series, uh, also called TSS. Mm -hmm. They race uh, one race in Sepang in Malaysia. All right. And they race one race at Bira Circuit mm -hmm. here in Pattaya. They go one race to Buriram and then they have one race in Bangsan. Uh, Bangsan is probably the biggest event every year. Oh, uh, right. Last year we had uh, over the five day period, we had 200,000 spectators wow, coming for the race. Time, wow. so, yeah. Yeah. Very, very popular. Mm? Because the pit is open. If you go to another race event, uh, yeah. you need to buy very expensive pit passes and yeah. you can't get close to the cars yes. and the drivers. Yeah. I was going to say, are there things that you so, can, that spectators can, or people can do in Thailand that they perhaps wouldn't be able to do correct. in the other countries? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you get up close with the drivers. Uh, you bring your your kids along, and uh, sometimes <coughs> if, if small kids want to sit in the car, then I open the door for the car, and they can right. sit in the car right. and take oh, pictures. Wow. And yeah. so you wouldn't get that in Formula One. Yeah. <laughs> if I can just add, uh, a recent event, we had a client come along to watch a race, and I, yeah. I took him down to one of the corners. He was within like five feet of the cars. He just, well, not five feet, five yards of the cars yeah. going around the corners. Couldn't believe it. We're allowed to get that close. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, what are the plans for the future? Are you going to continue in the same uh, same category? Uh, well, we we're discussing what we, what uh, the plan will be for 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it'll be this category, whether it'll be this series, uh, we don't know. But uh, we only compete at the highest level. Yeah. And yeah. we only compete to win. Sure. Not compete of course. to yeah. <laughs> to be a, a part of the event. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. We want to make sure that we have the, the best uh, options and the best possibilities to, to win. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, with that. Uh, we, we, we're spending th this time of, of year, we're always spending a, a lot of our time and effort to look for sponsors for the, the following year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because at the level where we race, mm -hmm. uh, it's very expensive. Oh, I can yes. imagine. Uh, yeah. I so can imagine. We, we do spend a lot of money and time and energy on it. I mean, yeah. I have a full team, uh, full employed people uh, mm. working uh, six days a week. Uh, wow, uh, working that on the sounds cars. expensive. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not cheap. Uh, no. I mean, you, you can go a lot cheaper, you can go yeah. out and race, but then you're not going to be competitive at, at the front. No, yeah. I, can, so. I can understand. Yeah. Well, if there's any potential sponsors watching this, how would they get in contact with you? Well, we have a, a website mm -hmm. uh, and a Facebook page called CEA Racing, right? Yeah. where people can contact us. Uh, I have uh, a fan page where mm -hmm. uh, it's called Thomas Raldo Fan Club, right? Uh, and that's also on Facebook, where people they can can contact us. Uh, but uh, any any time they can contact Earl at, at CEA, right? Uh, or they can contact me uh, on the Facebook page. Yeah. Mm. So for any of our viewers, fancy sponsoring a winner? That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be but, sponsoring any losers. Yeah. I I think from from a sponsor's point of view, uh, what we offer is, is is not the fact that you can put a sticker on the car and we yeah. drive around. Yeah. It's, it's no. everything else around it. Right. Uh, we we do uh, once a year. We do uh, a special event where we put two seats in the race car. Mm, right. This you can't do anywhere else. No. Uh, yeah. And we take passengers around uh, and give them a ride. The sponsors bring their their key clients out uh, mm -hmm. yeah. and their family and staff. We take them around in a race car. That's give a them great experience. experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's definitely definitely worth it. yeah 18th right. of January. We, uh, 18th of January, wow. we're doing one, yeah. one of these. So, and uh, we also arrange uh, other different things, like when uh, there's an exhibition somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, or if the clients they have uh, special events, yeah. we bring our uh, cars down right. for on display. Uh, we bring the drivers along and take Excellent. pictures. And, 
We're nearly out of time now, but thank you very much, Thomas and Earl. I wish you best of success in uh, keeping up being yeah. a winner and yeah. uh, winning the championship this year. Definitely. And for our viewers, uh, stay tuned for part two because we're going to be back very soon with Best of the Web. See you after the break. Bye.